The British Union of Fascists, or BUF, was a fascist political party in the United Kingdom formed in 1932 by Oswald Mosley. It changed its name to the British Union of Fascists and National Socialists in 1936 and, in 1937, to British Union. It was finally disbanded in 1940, after it was proscribed by the British government following the start of the Second World War. The BUF emerged in 1932 from the British far right, following the electoral defeat of its antecedent, the New Party, in the 1931 general election. The BUF's foundation was initially met with popular support, and it attracted a sizable following. The press baron Lord Rothermere was a notable early supporter. As the party became increasingly radical, however, support declined. The Olympia Rally of 1934, in which a number of anti-fascist protesters were attacked by the paramilitary wing of the BUF, the Fascist Defense Force, isolated the party from much of its following. The party's embrace of Nazi-style antisemitism in 1936 led to increasingly violent clashes with opponents, notably the 1936 Battle of Cable Street in London's East End. The Public Order Act 1936, which banned political uniforms and responded to increasing political violence, had a particularly strong effect on the BUF whose supporters were known as blackshirts after the uniforms they wore. Growing British hostility towards Nazi Germany, with which the British press persistently associated the BUF, further contributed to the decline of the movement's membership. It was finally banned by the British government in 1940 after the start of the Second World War, amid suspicion that its remaining supporters might form a pro-Nazi fifth column. A number of prominent BUF members were arrested and interned under Defence Regulation 18b. Topic History Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Background Oswald Mosley was the youngest elected Conservative MP before crossing the floor in 1922, joining First Labour and, shortly afterwards, the Independent Labour Party. He became a minister in Ramsay MacDonald's Labour government, advising on rising unemployment. In 1930, Mosley issued his Mosley Memorandum, which fused protectionism with a proto Keynesian program of policies designed to tackle the unemployment problem, and he resigned from the Labour Party soon after, in early 1931, when the plans were rejected. He immediately formed the new party, with policies based on his memorandum. Despite winning 16% of the vote at a by-election in Ashton under Line in early 1931, however, the party failed to achieve any other electoral success. During 1931, the new party became increasingly influenced by fascism. The next year, after a January 1932 visit to Benito Mussolini in Italy, Mosley's own conversion to fascism was confirmed. He wound up the new party in April, but preserved its youth movement, which would form the core of the BUF, intact. He spent the summer that year writing a fascist program, The Greater Britain, and this formed the basis of policy of the BUF, which was launched in October 1932. <laughs> Early success and growth The BUF claimed 50,000 members at one point, and the Daily Mail, running the headline, Hurrah for the Blackshirts, was an early supporter. The first director of propaganda, appointed in February 1933, was Wilfred Risden, who was responsible for organizing all of Mosley's public meetings. Despite strong resistance from anti-fascists, including the local Jewish community, the Labour Party, the Independent Labour Party, and the Communist Party of Great Britain, the BUF found a following in the East End of London, where in the London County Council elections of March 1937, it obtained reasonably successful results in Bethnal Green, Shoreditch, and Limehouse, polling almost 8,000 votes, although none of its candidates was elected. The BUF never stood in a general election, having lost the funding of newspaper magnate Lord Rothermere that it had previously enjoyed. At the 1935 general election, the party urged voters to abstain, calling for fascism next time. There never was a next time, as the next general election was not held until July 1945, five years after the dissolution of the BUF. Towards the middle of the 1930s, the BUF's violent clashes with opponents began to alienate some middle class supporters, and membership decreased. 
At the Olympia rally in London, in 1934, BUF stewards violently ejected anti-fascist disruptors, and this led the Daily Mail to withdraw its support for the movement. The level of violence shown at the rally shocked many, with the effect of turning neutral parties against the BUF and contributing to anti-fascist support. One observer claimed, I came to the conclusion that Mosley was a political maniac, and that all decent English people must combine to kill his movement. Topic. Decline and legacy The BUF briefly drew away from mainstream politics and towards antisemitism over 1934–35 owing to the growing influence of Nazi sympathizers within the party, such as William Joyce and John Beckett, which provoked the resignation of members such as Dr. Robert Forgan. This anti-Semitic emphasis and these high-profile resignations resulted in membership dropping to below 8,000 by the end of 1935 and, ultimately, Mosley shifted the party's focus back to mainstream politics. The party continued to clash with anti-fascists, most famously at the Battle of Cable Street in October 1936, when organized anti-fascists prevented the BUF from marching through Cable Street. However, the party later staged other marches through the East End without incident, albeit not on Cable Street itself. BUF support for Edward VIII and the peace campaign to prevent a Second World War saw membership and public support rise once more. The government was sufficiently concerned by the party's growing prominence to pass the Public Order Act 1936, which banned political uniforms and required police consent for political marches. In 1937, William Joyce and other Nazi sympathizers split from the party to form the National Socialist League, which quickly folded, with most of its members interned. Mosley later denounced Joyce as a traitor and condemned him for his extreme antisemitism. The historian Stephen Dorrell revealed in his book Blackshirts that secret envoys from the Nazis had donated about £50,000 to the BUF. By 1939, total BUF membership was probably approaching 20,000. In May 1940, the BUF was banned outright by the government and Mosley, along with 740 other fascists, was interned for much of the Second World War. After the war, Mosley made several unsuccessful attempts to return to politics, notably in the union movement. <laughs> Character Mosley, known to his followers as the leader, modeled his leadership style on Benito Mussolini and the BUF on Mussolini's National Fascist Party in Italy. The uniform chosen for members was a black fencing jacket, its color in honor of the Italian fascists' uniforms and its cut a nod to Mosley's proficiency at the sport. The uniform earned them the nickname, Black Shirts, which they readily accepted for themselves. The BUF was anti-communist, protectionist, technocratic, and proposed replacing parliamentary democracy with executives elected to represent specific industries, trades or other professional interest groups—a system similar to the corporatism of the Italian fascists. Britain was to remain a democracy, although the House of Lords was to be replaced with a Senate consisting of notables. From all spheres of public life appointed by the king on the advice of the fascist prime minister and the House of Commons was to be renamed the Chamber of Corporations, and would consist of occupationally elected MPs who would be free to vote as they saw fit. The BUF's program and ideology were outlined in Mosley's The Greater Britain, 1932, and A. Raven Thompson's The Coming Corporate State, 1938. Many BUF policies were built on isolationism, prohibiting trade outside an insulated British Empire. Mosley's system aimed to protect the British economy from the fluctuations of the world market, especially during the Great Depression, and prevent cheap slave competition from abroad. Topic: <laughs> Relationship with the suffragettes. In a January 2010 BBC documentary, Mother Was a Blackshirt, James Ma reported that in 1914 Nora Elam was placed in a Holloway prison cell with Emmeline Pankhurst for her involvement with the suffragette movement, and, in 1940, was returned to the same prison with Diana Mosley, this time for her involvement with the fascist movement. Another leading suffragette, Mary Richardson, became head of the women's section of the BUF. Mary Sophia Allen Obe was a former branch leader of the West of England Women's Social and Political Union WSPU. At the outbreak of the First World War, she joined the Women Police Volunteers, becoming the WPV Commandant in 1920. 
She met Mosley at the January Club in April 1932, going on to speak at the club following her visit to Germany, "...to learn the truth about of the position of German womanhood." The BBC report described how Elam's fascist philosophy grew from her suffragette experiences, how the British fascist movement became largely driven by women, how they targeted young women from an early age, how the first British fascist movement was founded by a woman, and how the leading lights of the suffragettes had, with Oswald Mosley, founded the BUF. Mosley's electoral strategy had been to prepare for the election after 1935, and in 1936 he announced a list of BUF candidates for that election, with Elam nominated to stand for Northampton. Mosley accompanied Elam to Northampton to introduce her to her electorate at a meeting in the town hall. At that meeting Mosley announced that he was glad indeed to have the opportunity of introducing the first candidate, and thereby killed for all time the suggestion that National Socialism proposed putting British women back into the home, this is simply not true. Mrs. Elam he went on, had fought in the past for women's suffrage and was a great example of the emancipation of women in Britain. Prominent members and supporters Despite the short period of operation the BUF attracted prominent members and supporters. These included William Edward David Allen MP was the Unionist Member of Parliament for Belfast West. John Beckett MP was the Labour Member of Parliament for Peckham. Frank Bassard was a British spy. Patrick Boyle, 8th Earl of Glasgow was a member of the House of Lords Sir Malcolm Campbell was a racing motorist and motoring journalist. A. K. Chesterton was a journalist. Lady Cynthia Curzon known as Simmy was the second daughter of George Curzon, Lord Curzon of Kettleston, and the wife of Sir Oswald Mosley until her death in 1933. Robert Forgan MP was the Labour Member of Parliament for West Renfrewshire. Major General John Frederick Charles Fuller was a military historian and strategist. Billy Fullerton, leader of the Billy Boys Gang from Glasgow. Arthur Gilligan was the captain of the England cricket team. Sir Reginald Goodall was a noted English conductor. Group captain Sir Louis Leisler Gregg was a British naval surgeon, courtier and intimate of King George VI. Geoffrey Ham. Harold Sidney Harmsworth, 1st Viscount Rothermere was the owner of the Daily Mail and a member of the House of Lords. Neil Francis Hawkins Jocelyn Hay, 22nd Earl of Errol was a member of the House of Lords. William Joyce, later known as Lord Ha Ha David Freeman Mitford, 2nd Baron Redesdale, in addition to his wife, Lady Redesdale, and two of his daughters, Diana Mitford, Lady Mosley, after marriage to Sir Oswald Mosley in 1936. The Honourable. Unity Mitford Tommy Moran St. John Philby was an explorer, and father of Kim Philby. Sir Elliot Verdon Rowe was a pilot and businessman Edward Frederick Langley Russell, 2nd Baron Russell of Liverpool was a member of the House of Lords Lady Russell Edward Russell, 26th Baron de Clifford was a member of the House of Lords Hastings Russell, 12th Duke of Bedford was a member of the House of Lords Alexander Raven Thompson Frank Cyril Tiarx was the director of the Bank of England. Sir Frederick Toon was the manager of the England cricket team. Henry Williamson was a writer, best known for his 1927 work Tarka the Otter. Topic in popular culture The Channel 4 television serial Mosley portrayed the career of Oswald Mosley during his years with the BUF. The four-part series was based on the book's Rules of the Game and Beyond the Pale, written by Mosley's son, Nicholas Mosley. In the film It Happened Here, the BUF appears to be the ruling party of German-occupied Britain. A Mosley speech is heard on the radio in the scene before everyone goes to the movies. The first depiction of Mosley and the BUF in fiction occurred in Aldous Huxley's 1932 novel, Point Counterpoint, where Mosley is depicted as Everard Webley, the murderous leader of the BFF, the Brotherhood of Free Fascists, and comes to a nasty end. Harry Turtledove's alternative history novel, In the Presence of Mine Enemies, is set in 2010 in a world where the Nazis were triumphant, the BUF governs Britain, and the first stirrings of the reform movement come from there. The BUF and Mosley also appear as background influences in Turtledove's Colonization Trilogy which follows the World War Tetralogy and is set in the 1960s. 
James Herbert's 1996 novel 48 features a protagonist who is hunted by BUF blackshirts in a devastated London after a biological weapon release in the Second World War. The history of the BUF and Mosley is recapitulated. In Ken Follett's novel Night Over Water, several of the main characters are BUF members. In his book Winter of the World, the Battle of Cable Street plays a role and some of the characters are involved in the BUF or in the anti-BUF organizations. The BUF is also in Guy Walter's book The Leader 2003, where Mosley is the dictator of Britain in the 1930s. The British humorous writer P. G. Wodehouse satirized the BUF in books and short stories. The BUF was satirized as the black shorts shorts being worn as all the best shirt colors were already taken and their leader was Roderick Spode, owner of a ladies' underwear shop. The British novelist Nancy Mitford satirized the BUF and Mosley in Wigs on the Green, initially published in 1935 and republished in 2010. Diana Mitford, the author's sister, had been romantically involved with Mosley since 1932. In the 1992 Acorn Media production of Agatha Christie's 1, 2, Buckle My Shoe with David Suchet and Philip Jackson, one of the supporting characters played by Christopher Eccleston secures a paid position as a rank-and-file member of the BUF. The BUF and Oswald Mosley are also alluded to in Kazuo Ishiguro's novel The Remains of the Day. The BUF and Mosley are featured heavily in the 2010 BBC version of Upstairs, Downstairs where two of the characters are BUF supporters. The Pogue song, The Sick Bed of Cuckoo Lane, from their 1985 album Rum Sodomy and the Lash, refers to the BUF in its second verse with the line And you decked some fucking blackshirt who was cursing all the yids. Ned Bowman's 2010 first novel, Boxer, Beetle, portrays the Battle of Cable Street. C.J. Sampson's 2012 novel, Dominion, has Sir Oswald Mosley as Home Secretary in a post-Dunkirk piece with Germany alternate history thriller set in 1952. Lord Beaverbrook is Prime Minister of an authoritarian coalition government. Blackshirts tend to be auxiliary policemen. In Series 1, Episode 2 the White Feather of Foyle's War, Detective Paul Milner attends a fascist group meeting which is obviously based on the BUF and Mosley. References are made to the BUF and Mosley elsewhere in the episode. In the film, The King's Speech, a brief shot shows a brick wall in London plastered with posters, some reading Fascism is Practical Patriotism and others, Stand by the King. Both sets of posters were put up by British blackshirts, who supported King Edward VIII. Some historians believe Edward had fascist leanings. In the 2016 war strategy video game Hearts of Iron IV, certain options can be used to increase fascist leaning in the United Kingdom. Doing so can eventually lead to the British Union of Fascists becoming the ruling party, with Oswald Mosley as the nation's leader. The country's name will change to the British Empire and its flag will be replaced with a cross between the Union flag and the flash and circle. Further events can lead to Edward VIII being reinstated as monarch and being placed as the direct ruler of the British Empire. Election results See also List of British fascist parties Mosley, 1997. Diana Mosley, wife of BUF leader Oswald Mosley.